Okay, Jeremy here, Jeeps Unlimited, 303-666-9020, partsbreakers.com. You can view this frame and others like it, possibly. Just depends on what we have in stock. Uh, as I've said many, many times before, frames are getting next to impossible to find in good shape, clean original ones, specifically the southwestern U.S. ones. Um, seems to be a ton in the, the Midwest, East Coast, but... Uh, yeah, these southern frames are, are getting hard to find. So this was off of a 1980, had the little Iron Duke in it. Um, it's very clean. The rear support on it is uh, starting to get a little bit bad there. You can see uh, pretty common on those. Um, but the frame rails themselves, uh, the supports above the fuel tanks, um, all that is uh, ex excellent shape. Um, there's a bracket here which we did not pull. I don't know if they had something accessory wise that was there. Um, but we can remove that if needed. All the holes for the um, belly pan or cross member are in good shape. And then going up through here, uh, excellent condition. No rot. Um, you know, they did modify one thing on this frame and I'll show you when I flip it over, you can kind of see it on this side too, but it would be easier from the other side. Um, the frame pockets to the, so from basically what your body bushings go through, uh, this guy and this guy are a little bit more wallowed out. This one's in great shape. Pretty easy to, to fix those, but I like to show them. Um, this one's in good shape. That one's pretty good. And that one's pretty good. So just that other side, <coughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, this is this is probably a better shot with the sun being where it is. So I just like to show these videos. Been doing these for 15 plus years. Uh, so you can see this is if you were here in person. Uh, compatibility 76 to 83. And uh, yeah, so let me flip it over. Okay, so really nice clean top side as well. All right, so what, what was modified on it was the original uh, early frames had uh, lower shock perches, as you can see here and here. And this one is almost like a seven. They've uh, they put them put them up. So, two things that would have to be done if you wanted to go back to the way it was stock. Replace these guys with basically that, um, which is one of the reasons I kept these on because I wanted that option for somebody. Or if you're going to be using a longer stroke shock, this would be ideal. Uh, just use it the way they did it. They didn't cut anything on the frame minus that those little. Shock, uh, shock points, I should say. Um, this was just a plate they welded on. Um, could have done a little bit better. I think this looks a little hokey, to be honest with you. But uh, it's just bolts, and then they've tacked it here and here. We can either take it off for you, or you can take it off. I personally think we should leave them, and then let you, uh, if you're going to change this back to the way it was, and take these off, and then you can use these for this place here. Okay, that's it. Otherwise, it's um, perfect. All right, no rust inside or out. And we don't prep them in any other any way other than just taking the hot seat to them, which is about 4,500 PSI, so it peels off anything or blows a hole through anything that would potentially be weak. Allows us to kind of see the integrity of the frame and uh, go from there. 303 666 9020 parksbreakers.com. I apologize. I'm a little uh, absent-minded. I've um, had COVID now twice. Um, and I'm outside of the, I'm several weeks outside of being contagious. Well, hopefully. Although I guess they don't really know. But one thing this thing's done to me is just, uh, I have bad asthma, so it's making me really short of breath. And, um, 
it's scary stuff for sure. And then uh, fatigue and a little bit of brain fog. So, and uh, I was vaccinated. Not that I want to put any kind of political mess into this frame or anything, but uh, it's it, it, it's winded me enough that it's hard to do videos. I usually can pump out 30 videos when I do these. I have a whole bunch of frames and tubs to do today. And I'm on my fourth one, and I feel like I've ran a marathon. So, Anyway, uh, 303-666-9020, partsbreakers.com. I appreciate you taking the time with me today. And let me know if you have any other questions. We have seven acres of Jeep parts, so be uh, happy to help you out in any way we can. Thanks a lot.